Hello. Welcome in. It's Lisa from Lady Norway Energy Healing and I'm just going to do a little something about the lunar eclipse in Scorpio which is happening on the 5th of May. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, definitely we're going through it. We're in the energies now. Things are amping up. And I just uh, wanted to read a couple things that I wrote down and going to just talk about that. It is the Scorpio lunar eclipse that will be activating the south node because Scorpio, uh, the south node is in Scorpio right now and north nodes in Taurus. So it'll definitely be activating the south node, which is, um, you know, it talks about are sort of things that we came into this lifetime with, um, karmic stuff, Pluto is in there, Scorpio is all about the under, the underworld, the unconscious, um, you know, deeply sort of set things that we have for ourselves that the shadow, stuff we don't want to talk about, stuff we don't want to look at, stuff that we've been holding on to, deep emotions, all that jazz, that's uh, Scorpio for you. And um, this lunar eclipse is going to be pretty powerful for, uh, you know, what Scorpio is good at, which is, um, you know, deep emo emotions, deep feelings. And, um, you know, and then of course the, the purging, the purging and the releasing and the letting go of, um, and, you know, being that it's an eclipse, it's sort of extra powerful. So um, the Scorpio lunar eclipse has the power to cut through anything. Um, anything that you've been hanging on to that is no longer serving you will be removed. It'll be removed from your life. And um, that's a good thing, really, when, when you think about it. And when these things are happening, obviously it's uncomfortable, you know, some fears could be brought up, stuff of triggers, all that kind of stuff can be happening. So um, it's just this time to finally let go of whatever blocks that have been uh, that have been holding you back. So that could be mindset, that could be beliefs. I mean, being that we're in Taurus right now, Taurus is all about values and beliefs and, you know, what you, what you've feel is important to you, your safety, your security, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff that Taurus is, is all about. Um, and being that it is in Taurus season, it may help you at this point with this lunar eclipse to actually recognize the things that are important to you and the things that aren't. And you can actually have your values and your belief systems, they can all be sort of um, reassessed or looked at or actually, you know, you know, be able to recognize, like have a light shone on the fact like, hey, this isn't working for me anymore. I'm going to have to reassess this or I'm going to reorganize that and or I'm going to, you know, remove this and try that. Like it's all about, it can be about your systems, you know, your, how you're organizing your business, how you organize your life, your finances. Well, that's Taurus, but, you know, it can actually, I think as Mercury's in retrograde until, until the 14th. That's actually a time where you can actually look, you know, like retrogrades are always like Mercury retrogrades, especially it's like, ah, retrograde, ah, you know, everyone freaks out, but it's actually a really good time to slow down and actually take a look at things and take a look at what you can re look, redo or re, you know, it's all about re, like the retro part is re, you know, reassess, relook, rework, and then also release. Yeah, there's that definitely is in there with this uh, Scorpio lunar eclipse. Um, definitely, you know, re, re, reworking things, re-looking at things, revisiting, reassessing. That's all Mercury. And um, it's just releasing. So things that are no longer um, serving you and no longer is what's for your highest good. And all these things that need to be let go of. Uh, as you're reaching for your higher level of consciousness, you're, you're moving up, you're leveling up. This is what it's all about. And you've got to sometimes let go of stuff so that you can make room for a new level of consciousness to emerge. And, um, and because full moons, you know, are basically all about like a culmination of energy. It's like a peak. It's a, it's a, a buildup and then it's a, a burst and then it's a release. You know, that's what full moons are sort of all about. And then, you know to start again another cycle and um 
that's definitely what what's happening here and um you know it's actually with the full moon it's with it being eclipsed there's obviously going to could be some cloudy areas or confusion there could be some you know like the things that do get sort of activated or that get a light shone on them can actually there'll be a little bit could be a little bit uh um there could be some confusion and then some and then a release so i mean it can be uh, it can be a little messy. It can be a little messy, but um, because we're in the Taurus time, we just have to remember when we're going through whatever we're going through um, that, you know, like look to Taurus and, and look to what makes a Taurus happy and what Taurus is, is all about is, is all about your, you know, your joy and your pleasure and engaging your senses and, you know getting grounded and looking towards like if things are rough like just go to look to the earth ask the earth mother earth for uh support like get grounded go for a walk in nature you know get your hands in the dirt if you can't do that it's even just getting grounded you know like find a place where you can take your shoes off and put your feet in the grass you know like it's warmed up around here now so god we had yesterday it was so freaking hot it was like holy moly it's like went from like cold to hot like boom so um but yeah definitely you can find a place now uh to get your your feet out of your shoes and get your feet in the ground and on the ground and on the earth and just get some grounding earth energy and it really makes a big difference um yeah because sometimes these times can be pretty tough and uh, fears can come up triggers probably will come up and and are probably going to happen but if I think when it all comes down to it, it's like if we can just remember that this is all happening for our highest good. And if we can surrender to that and actually accept it and just have faith and have it that deep knowing that things are always going to be working out. They always turn out, even though it's like, you know, a little rough, but that, you know, there always can be that sort of, you know, that dark time before the dawn. But, you know, the sun always comes out. There's always a new day. There's always a, you know, you can start again. And, uh, you know, just have gratitude for for being here and being alive and being part of this time when it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty special time to be here on this earth doing what, what we're doing. And that's just about, you know, bringing our light and shining it as bright as we can and anchoring it in and sharing it and sharing love and sharing, you know, sharing um, our stories and our insights and and sharing our uh, our healing gifts and our abilities um and just sort of being in connection with one another and 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 holding each other up and in, in these times especially in these kinds of times when the you know the cosmos are are really uh, active and things are going on so um there's something else happening with uh there's something happening with venus too i think venus is uh you know the planet of love and depending on where it falls in your birth chart, but like there's something's happening with Venus and it's, it's talking about like this lunar eclipse, this in Scorpio also is going to have us, give us the ability to like open up our hearts more. It's actually opening us up and wreck it with, you know, we'll realize like, um, where we close our hearts off, like it'll, it'll, actually you know you'll see oh yeah our hearts are being opened but we're actually going to be able to be shown where we close off our hearts and where we don't share our love and where we hold our hearts you know whatever if there's been hurt or you know there's so many different things heartache heartbreak loss grief what you know whatever but this will actually show us where we cut ourselves off from you know being open to receive love and um, that's pretty spectacular, like, I mean, to recognize that it's, you know, it is all about that giving and receiving of, of love. It's not just about giving it, and it's not just about receiving it. It's that flow of, of, of that back and forth and that give, giving and that receiving. And it's so important that, you know, we need love. We need it. It's It nurtures us. It's how, this is what we're here for. We're, this is what we're all about. We are love. And um, we need to we need to love each other and we need to love ourselves and we need to love this earth that we're on this planet that we're on the world that we're in and um yeah so i just thought that was kind of interesting too that 
because there's Venus will be in a sextile with Jupiter and that's on the 4th of May so that's a day before the the lunar eclipse so those energies will be active and that's about our, our you know our, the expansion Jupiter of our hearts um you know will be open and uh you know able to give and receive love um more more efficiently uh and and be better at it and that's like that's a great thing so I mean even though there will be these uncomfortable themes of this Scorpio underworld, you know, deep, dark, you know, heavy, heavy stuff, this stuff that we're letting go, there's also that, that is kind of like, isn't that wonderful to think like, you know, our hearts are being opened and, and, uh, you know, it's going to show us where we can, where we can give and receive more love. I mean, that is beautiful to me. Um, so that's what I wanted to say about that. So, but as we are releasing deeply, you know, these blockages that we've, we've had for, um, you know, sometimes even lifetimes, like this can be themes that are coming up from lifetimes, like you're bringing stuff, karmic stuff through into this lifetime that you're finally ready to let go of. Like, I think about that and I think that for me is legitimate. Like I can actually feel like my ancestral line be, being healed, like as it's, as I'm healing, it's all being healed, it's all connected. And then it's like for future, future uh, ancestral lineage or whatever, it's, you know, I'm, I'm paving, paving a way for that too, since, you know, timelines can be all, it's not just, a, it's not linear, right? It's just, you know, there's all these timelines happening, like all, uh, right beside me, uh, right above me, right below me. Like it's, you know, it's wild to think about, but anyway, um, I can get off on that too, but I won't do that. So anyway, uh, just as we are releasing deeply all these, these, all these blockages and all these, you know, um, things that are no longer serving us and, uh, you know, relationships that are no longer serving us, people, you know, that aren't uh, here and ha for our highest good and um, that aren't cheering us on or, you know, that aren't in our corners. I mean, everybody's got people like that in their lives and, um, uh, you know, it's it's all good. Just send them love, send them light and, uh, and, and just uh, keep remembering that you know, we, we all need love. We are love. We, at our, our deepest core level, our sore level, we are love. And, um, let's just share in that glow. Like let's share in that glow and, uh, deep breaths, everyone. I just want to send out so much love and light right now. I know this could be a tough time for some people. Um, you know, the world is a, is a wild and crazy place. And um, this kind of stuff can sometimes activate things in the world that uh, can be pretty heavy. So just, uh, you know, keep on keeping on. And I keep thinking to myself that it's this for me anyway, I'm obviously going through some purges and I'm, I'm sh you know, stuff, I'm shaking stuff up and, and uh, things are definitely, you know, some things are coming to a close and I'm entering into a new cycle. I mean, I definitely feel that. But I'm 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 feeling like yeah okay so it could be some rough stuff there there could be some fears that come up I have to might look at things that I don't really want to look at about myself about my situation about my life about my relationships about the people in my life, um, but it I feel like it's more of a rebirthing energy I really do I feel like it's you know it's like it's 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 not doom and gloom, I guess that's maybe what maybe it kind of feels like sometimes when it's like, whoa, full moon eclipse in Scorpio. Like it can be, it can be heavy, but I, I feel like it's, um, you know, yeah, there, there'll probably be some, uh, some endings. There'll be some deaths or whatever, like not, you know, deaths figuratively, um, uh, you know, and literally, but it's, that makes room for the rebirth of something else and something even better. It can be even better. You know, that's what I always say, like this or something better. You know, when I'm asking for for things or I'm putting things out in the world or I'm, you know, manifesting or whatever, it's this and some or, or something better, definitely. And um, just like uh, the, the, the possibilities, really the possibilities. Um, it's all good. Even my, it could be a bit rocky. Um, all is well in my world. All is well in my world. 
and so it is. But I'm gonna pull a little um, little uh, angel card, or angel oracle card from Kyle Gray, because I do like that. Just ask angels, spirit guides, send masters. What do we need to hear for our highest good? What do we need to hear for our highest good? So, just a little quick little angel. Yeah, so that's that. That's all I wanted to say about that. And I'm still working on my studio. Um, now I'm just putting it all together. It's it's done. I haven't. I I've taken some little clips of the video. I'm gonna put it together, and then actually I'm having a little christening on the 13th of May, so it'll be open, open, open. But I've been in there. I've been in there creating already. So I'm I'm a I'm getting, and that's another thing too. When you know stuff gets stuff gets rough get creative like even if it's just you know i mean it, being creative can be anything it doesn't have to be like sitting down and doing an art piece you know it's um making a beautiful meal it's uh you know god folding laundry and putting it away and making it look beautiful can be a creative process <laughs> like it doesn't have to look like anything major Oh, this, these card decks, uh, there's some beautiful pictures on there. This one is uh, Harmony and Resolution. Harmony and Resolution. And uh, I also have this uh, fellow traveler, um, Denise Lynn. I'll pull one from there as well. To see what... The Sacred Traveler has to say. Yep, and um, and I obviously yes of the Lady Energy, uh, Lady Norway Energy Healing. Pardon me. Um, I am uh, available for energy treatments, doing some sound Reiki sound bath, uh, chakra balancing. Reiki and integrated energy therapy. So, yeah, my information is in the description if anyone wants to reach out and get some information or book a session with me. Um, I also offer a distance, distance Reiki as well. So, um, yeah, if you want to reach out, please feel free. I would look forward to a session with you if you feel the call. Okay, what do you have to say, Sacred Traveler? Oh, we'll take that one. We've got Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. That's very beautiful. Look at that portal. It's like the other side of the um, the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. The gates of triumph. I like that a lot. It's like a portal to me. You know, you're coming through. It's kind of dark, and then it's towards the light, the path, and that's the journey that we're on. Our path, our soul's path. Yeah, that's a gooder. The gates of triumph. I like that one. Yeah, so the harmony, it's a bit of a glare there, sorry. Harmony and resolution. Um, angels of harmony and healing are with you to help you resolve any conflicts that have been disturbing your inner peace. You're being encouraged to call in the light of God and surrender any concerns you have so that the divine can resolve them. Your angel guide is suggesting you release any need to be right or to get your point across. For this will only create more hostility. This is a time to focus on your own inner peace. Dedicate time and energy to doing what you can to make yourself feel comforter, comfort, comforted and comfortable. And that could be 
crawling up in a comforter, I guess. Uh, through being more caring towards yourself, you will create harmonious energy that will wash out like a wave to all those around you. Trust that this will happen and harmony, harmony will be restored. And um, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm happy to hear that. You know, I'm really happy to hear that. That's that's good. Uh, the extended message, Angel Guidance is encouraging, encouraging you to stand down from any conflicts that are going on in your life right now. Take a step back to collect your thoughts and breathe. Angels cannot help you unless you create space for them to intervene. And they are with you now and willing to restore peace. They want you to know that you are aware of your challenges and the concerns you have that they are aware of your challenges and the concerns you have, but unless you have faith that harmony can be restored, nothing can change. This is a time for you to visualize yourself, the situation and everyone involved enveloped in a golden light of goodness and grace. It's important to know that angels of peace are encouraging you to let them bring peace to the situation. Trust the process. Trust the process. Harmony and resolution. If that doesn't feel good, that is really beautiful. And the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Like we might have to get through some stuff, but it's there, it's there, right? Success expands in your life. The gates of triumph are waiting to open wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is a state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal you desire and even more victories will expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. The sacred travel want, traveler wants you to know, arriving in a foreign hamlet, wreaths of flowers are placed around the sacred traveler's shoulders. The townspeople, Celebrate and honor the traveler. The village elders know the challenges faced and overcome and are welcoming with open arms. If a situation knocks you over, get up and brush yourself off and discover what you've learned. You aren't a failure if you fall down. You aren't a failure if you fall down. Only if you stay down. Ugh. So keep going. And believe in yourself. This is what true success is. Acknowledge your accomplishments in life. They are more than you imagine. Victory, good fortune, and triumph are at hand. That's great. Yeah, that's good stuff. Thank you, Secret Traveler and Angel Guide. Harmony and Resolution, and the Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. So there we go. A lot of ramblings about the lunar eclipse in Scorpio on the 5th of May, and I want to say a special happy birthday to some Tauruses in my life, uh, one in particular that I love very, very much and that I miss so much that I am just happy that I know that this person is in the world and that they've got my back no matter what. And even if I don't see them all the time, I feel their love and I'm giving it all right back to you and then some and I love you and happy birthday. You know who you are. I miss you and to all the other fellow Torians out there, happy, happy birthday and um, sending you love and sending you light and good luck. Deep breath, everybody. Hold on tight. I don't know if you have to buckle up, but I feel like saying buckle up, buttercups. <laughs> anyway, ciao for now. See you on the next one. Bye.